because I did cook them. I cooked the mice, you know. So I wouldn't advise anybody else to um, eat mice. I don't know what's wrong with these kids. No, it do not work that way. You bath one time a week. Well, guys, today's not going to be fun. Every now and then I find something here on the internet that goes past my normal threshold of badness that I like to keep the things that I cover within. Today is one of those days. Last night, I came across a video of a woman making something that she was calling a sea land boil. Now, I believe that this is a play on words. It's supposed to be like a seafood boil, which uh, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the correct way to name this would be a land food boil. Sea land and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. That sounds like a knockoff sea world, but I'm not the one making it, so I guess I can judge. But basically, she made a sea land boil of an animal she found on the land. Now, this animal was not a cow. It wasn't a chicken. It wasn't a pig. It was a, uh, a mouse. Now, uh, to me, eating my soup was a little bit out of the ordinary, so I decided to go through her page, and it got a whole lot worse. So it would be one thing to eat, like, food-grade mice, if there's such a thing. And I'm not talking about the ones you can buy at Petco for snakes. I don't think anybody's really in the business of factory farming mice for human consumption. If that's a thing, please let me know. But if that was a thing, I could understand maybe dabbling in some mice action there. But this was just a mouse she found in her house. What makes this worse, however, is this woman has children who I presume she fed this to as well. So I decided to see if there was anything else insane on her page, and yeah, there's a lot. So today, we're gonna be going through Queen Size 87's TikTok page, as an example as to why not everybody should be allowed to have children. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Okay, so y'all, I made the sea lamb boil. Y'all see the pot. I made the sea lamb boil, and my freaking neck broke the freak out. You know, the more videos like this I see, the more I begin to think that social media and the internet in general is probably responsible for more deaths than we could ever imagine. I mean, imagine eating a mouse, which leads to your neck having an allergic reaction, which, by the way, is like the worst place to have an allergic reaction because you kind of need to breathe to live. I know. Crazy. And your first thought is, let me make a TikTok. From this woman's other videos, it seems like she lives in an apartment complex, so these rats are probably poisoned. Rat poison takes quite some time to kill a mouse. Imagine willingly ingesting poison, and once you start to show side effects from doing so, you're like, okay, the internet needs to know about this. It's insane. So, basically, I don't know, I'm gonna go to the hospital though, because this could be rabies or anything because I did cook them. I cooked the mice, you know, but I don't know. But my neck is breaking out, y'all. Like, I don't know what this is. So, um, I'm going to the hospital. So, I wouldn't advise anybody else to, um, Eat mice. Oh well shucks, looks like my dinner plans for tonight are off. I was gonna make some rat sashimi, so I'm really glad you stopped me. I don't think this is a warning anybody else needs, Mrs. Queen Size. And I didn't show all the skin and stuff like that because I didn't want to get my page blocked. Because, you know, people fight for oh, animals, rodents, everything. And, and, and are, very, are very sensitive. So I didn't show me the skin and all that. I didn't even show it me putting it in there because like I said, people are very sensitive. Okay, sure. I'll level with you. I'm sure some people would be upset if you posted a video of you skinning a mouse for your sea land boil, but uh, I don't think that's the main problem people would have had. I think the main problem people would have had with a video like that is the fact that you are, you know, eating mice. And I mean, going through this woman's page, it doesn't really seem like she's struggling, which is where I feel like an idea like this would pop up. I could understand if you had no other food you might receive or to eating a mouse, but this woman seems to live in a pretty nice apartment. She has videos of like grocery hauls. Why would you do this? And um, and just trying to be somewhat of respectful and still, you know, do what I want to do because I'm grown. I wanted to put the put it in my bowl and taste it, and it didn't taste bad, but it then broke me out. I ate that mouse. And their mouse then broke me the freak out. So, I'm about to go to the hospital. It is what it is. It, it didn't taste bad. It was good. Um, but 
I wouldn't suggest anybody else to do this. Don't try this at home. It keeps surprising me that she feels the need to tell people not to do this. Like, this is something people are contemplating every day. But then I really start thinking about it, and it kind of makes sense. The kind of person to eat a mouse they caught in their own house and not even think twice about it is probably not the kind of person to understand why you shouldn't eat a mouse you caught in your own house. So it kind of makes sense that she thinks other people would want to do this, because if she doesn't understand why you shouldn't, I guess logically there wouldn't be a whole lot holding you back. All right, so this next video is one she uploaded where she demonstrates what she believes is the correct way to wash your chicken. Now, if you have any sort of education on food safety whatsoever, then you would know that there isn't a correct way to wash your chicken. If you live in America and are buying chicken from a supermarket like I am and this woman is, there is no need to wash your chicken. And no, I'm not gonna argue with you about it in the comment section. Google it. But um, this is what I use. This is the washing powder I use. And so this is what I use. Just use just a little bit, not that much. Yeah, guys. So that is a laundry detergent. That's probably food safe, right? Why am I even bringing that up? Clearly, food safety is not really that big of a priority in this household. And a top full of bleach. You see, I got it on the chicken. What? Huh? Miss Queen Size, do you think that you're washing a white t-shirt? This is food. OxyClean and a cap full of bleach? Is this some sort of joke? Is this an elaborate prank? Is this like a social experiment of a TikTok account? I've seen a lot of traditional ways to wash chicken that have been passed down, and I get it, but uh, laundry detergent and bleach? I don't think that's one of them. Somebody needs to save these children. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's how you clean... If you just like me prepare some chicken to fry or something and you don't you change your mind, that's a good way to clean it and get all the excess stuff and it gets all the excess set off of there, all that. So that's a good way. Y'all have a great day. All right. So from what I'm picking up here, it doesn't even seem like she's washing this as a way to make it, quote, cleaner. It seems like she's just doing this to get the fat off. And I mean, how about a knife? How about a pair of scissors? How do you land on dissolving it away with chemicals as the best way to do this? How do people like this survive? Baby, who? Yeah, I listen here. I don't know what's wrong with these kids thinking because they see me, well, what's wrong with this kid thinking because she see me getting out the tub every time she see me getting out the tub, she want to take a bath. Uh-uh, it don't work that way. No, it do not work that way. You bath one time a week, maybe twice if you've been running around outside or something. You may get the privilege of twice a week. So this is where these videos go from disgusting but kind of funny to just straight up ridiculously sad. Imagine denying your children of being clean and then bragging about it on the internet. I mean, this stuff is ridiculously sad. This woman has like three children living with her. They should not be there. This is not a good environment for them. One bath a week? A week? And it's not like the kid she's talking about is a newborn or anything. I would guess the kid's three or four. Thinking that your child getting bathed twice a week is a privilege for them is absolutely insane. Well guys, thankfully that's all I really found of Miss Queen Size 87. That's about all I could take before just looking at her kind of made me angry, so I stopped going through her page. I'm sure there's a whole lot more on her TikTok account that's pretty rage worthy, but uh, I don't know if I have it in me. Obviously it's sad to know that there are kids that have to live like this out there, but it's even worse when it seems like the parent is kind of proud of it. It really makes you wonder if they're okay saying stuff like this on the internet and making this kind of stuff known. What stuff do they do behind closed doors? Not exactly a great thing to think about. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.